Hi, in this video I'm making a bowl cozy. This is a little holder for hot bowls of soup or oatmeal or even cold bowls of ice cream. So, so you don't burn your hands or they don't get cold. You can use it for different sizes of bowls. If you want to make it bigger, you have to adjust the fabric size and the batting size. And if you want to know all the details, you can check out my blog post on madamso.com where you can find the sizes, adjustments, some tips and tricks, or you can just watch this video and start making this size. To make one bowl cozy, you have to gather two pieces of cotton fabric and cut them uh, 9 by 9 inch. Uh, quilt cotton is perfect for this. You also need two pieces of batting, also 9 by 9 inch, and of course matching threads, a sewing machine with a regular needle, fabric marker, a ruler, a rotary cutter and a mat, or scissors and some pins and clips. You now have these four pieces to start making your cozy. Pin a batting piece on a fabric piece on the wrong side of the fabric. Now mark a big cross on the right side of both fabric pieces uh, with a temporary erasable fabric marker all the way from one corner to the other. This is uh, the line where you will stitch on how you will quilt the batting to um, the fabric. You can also eyeball it, but I prefer to have a guide for the stitches. Go over to your sewing machine and stitch through the fabric and the batting with a straight stitch. Do this for both fabric pieces. I'm using stitch length 3 and I'm back stitching at the start and end of each of the four rows of stitching you have to do. To get the necessary indent for your bowl, you need to sew four pleats. Fold a fabric batting piece in half, right sides together and mark where the um, pleats have to be sewn. Measure one inch on the edge of the fabric and two inches on the fold line. Connect these two markings. Fold the same piece in half in the other direction, right sides together. Again, measure one inch on the edge and two inches on the fold and connect these two markings. Repeat these steps on the other uh, quilted fabric batting piece. Now put this piece under your sewing machine, fold it in half and sew on the mark through both layers. Actually through the all four layers because you have two fabric layers and two batting layers. Now sew also on the second mark. And then fold the fabric in the other direction and sew the two remaining pleats. In total you have to sew four pleats on each fabric piece. And that's it for the pleats. This is how the two fabric pieces look like now. Now trim the excess fabric of the pleats uh, off at one fourth of an inch. So do this for all eight pleats. And also check if other parts uh, need some trimming as well. Position the two little balls on top of each other, right sides together, and pin or clip them together. If you like pointy corners on your cozy, you can skip this step. I topped all four corners off here. Now you can sew uh, the two parts together. So all around at a big enough seam allowance so you're sure you grab all layers and uh, don't forget to leave a turning hole of about two inches, maybe a little more. And the position of this turning hole is also uh, 
important that you do that on a straight part of the edge because that makes it easier to close it afterwards. Before you turn the cozy right sides out, be sure to trim all edges and corners a little with your scissors. I made my turning hole a little too small, so I struggled a bit turning it right sides out. Before you close the turning hole, be sure to give your little bowl cozy a nice press. And I uh, close the turning hole with a hand stitch, a leather stitch, uh, which is an invisible hand stitch. But you can also top stitch your edge all around and close the turning hole like that. That's it. Your bowl cozy is ready to use. You can put it in the microwave, get your bowl out like this and start drinking your hot soup. Bye!